All right, section 1.2, aliases and similar functions, okay? So, remember in PowerShell, there's always a verb, noun, sequence in these functions or command lists you call. In this example, we're going to do write host, hello world, okay? So we're going to type write host, hello world. And when you hold shift and press enter, it will run that cell and we get hello world. Now, great. And there's another commandlet that's very similar called write output. So write host is really just writing to the console screen. It does not write to what we call an, an output stream or sort of for redirection. Okay, so when you're trying to assign values to a variable, it won't work with the right host. You need the right output. That is basically the same thing as just typing it. This right is the same thing as this. Does that make sense? Okay, because it's an alias. An alias, right, means another way to, you know, execute that command. So, when we talk about the next, you know, set of um, instructions, what happens is when you run this command message and then you do write host hello world, it looks like it outputs the console. It looks like that when you um, have this, it looks like it's, you know, oopsie, wrong way. It looks like it's taking hello world and storing it in this variable, right? It looks like it's going and storing it into that variable, but it's not. Because like I said, write host only writes to the console. What will write to the variable is write output. So if you run message again, you get nothing. You get no output, nothing was stored, right? But if you do it the other way, like I said, when you do message, we have nothing. But then when you run message equals write output, hello world, we stored it now, right? This, this now does go into it. Because remember, write output is like a stronger version of write host. It stores, it outputs to the host, but also writes it to the variable, okay? So I gotta remember. And you don't have to actually do this, you can actually just delete write output and just do that. Message equals hello world. That's the same thing. And then when you do message, you get a response. You can do something like um, another message equals message. So what does that think? What do you think that will happen there? Do you think it'll work? Let's see. It works. You can also do, it's the same thing as this. Remember? It's the same thing as that. Okay? So write host, writes to the console, write output, it writes to the console, and you can store it into a variable. Okay?